Alex, 25, from Stoke-on-Trent, pulls no punches with his views on the unemployed. If it's just laziness, then I have no sympathy at all. Alex was privately educated from the age of three, costing his parents over £100,000. He still lives at home, a five-bedroom, six-floor mansion. I do still live at home because I'm not sure where my career is going to take me at this moment in time. His father is a millionaire entrepreneur. He's a very successful businessman, so that's what makes me so uh, ambitious. To achieve success himself, Alex took a degree in international business and qualified as a financial advisor. My lifestyle is funded by juggling two jobs. Alongside my financial advisor job, I work as a personal shopper. That's allowed me to produce a six-figure salary, which also allows me to live a luxury lifestyle. His personal shopping clients are the mega rich, who are impressed with Alex's eye for style. It's important to be able to showcase myself, and also fashion is a good way to express yourself without saying anything at all. And he doesn't hold back showcasing himself. On a month on clothing, you'd probably spend about £5,000. And I don't like to wear the same pair of boxes twice. Come again? I don't like wearing the same pair of boxes twice. That's £3,600 a year just on designer undies. And it's not only clothes he splashes out on. Average a day on food and drinks, I'd probably say about £100 to £150 a day. At the weekends, we'll go out uh, to nightclubs and then it'll be a hell of a lot more. Tables can be sort of for about two to £5,000. I drive a BMW X6 that was brand new and that was, I believe, 65 grand. I saw it and I liked it and a couple of weeks later it was on the driveway. When rich kids go skint. Alex, Nikisha. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Alex. Got a little one running around. Hi. Yes, come in, come in. Yes, yeah, so lovely to meet you. You How too. Are you okay? I'm not too bad, thank you. Not too you. bad for a Monday morning. I just come back from the school run. It is absolutely. Have you? Oh, so there's more children, is there? How many children do you have? I've got five. Are you on your own or a partner or? No, I'm on my own. Right, so you're yeah. on your own with five children. Yeah. Wow. Right, I'm ready for this. I'm ready noisy. for this. I'm ready for this. <laughs> when I first went in, I would have probably said there's maybe three people living in there maximum. Finding out it's actually six. Yeah, it's tight, very tight. This is Shayla. <laughs> nice Say to hi, meet Shayla. you. Shayla. scared. No, <laughs> not today. Maybe later. She'll warm up to you soon enough. I'll give you a tour. Let's go. Let's go. So this is the kids' room. Yeah. This is where they sleep. I'm on my own in my bedroom, but then I am an only child, so... OK, so you don't have to share with anyone? No, no. In a house of six, sharing is a necessity. Have you got any brothers and sisters? Yes, there are six of us. Yeah, my dad was um, from a big family. Where is your dad from? Well, he's born in the UK, but yeah. his dad is from Jamaica. OK. Yeah, where are you from? Jamaica. Oh, yeah. so we've got something in common already. Yes. <laughs> I like that, I like that. Yeah. This is... Ivany's room. Is that the eldest one? Yeah, 16. If I go in there, she will murder me. I'm not allowed in that one, no. Uh, this is my bedroom. I share this room with Kushela and the baby. Yeah, the two little ones. Mm hmm So what do you think about my bedroom? Is your room bigger than this? Yeah, it is bigger. I've got TV on the wall. Mm -hmm. But no, I, you know, it's, it's... Yeah. Yeah. I feel like he was holding back in um, describing where he's from because, obviously, my house is not up to scratch. Yeah, so is this a blow-up mattress, is it? Yeah, it's inflatable. So is she on this she um, here? here. Yeah. So how long has it been like this for? Um, for a couple months. Yeah? Yeah. It's basically temporary because yeah. I need to get her a proper bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can use it as trampoline as well. <laughs> yeah, that's, you, that's, <laughs> that's one of the purposes one, for her, it? yeah. <laughs> Second youngest daughter is sleeping on a blow-up mattress, which is quite heartbreaking. Six people in that tight space is a lot. It was cramped, it's cramped. When rich kids go skint. After dropping the kids at school, Nikisha makes her monthly visit to the cemetery where her mum was buried. And this time, she's bringing Alex. When her husband died, yep. She bought the plot to go on top of him. Oh, did she? That's that's cute. <laughs> there she is. I'd like to get her a headstone and 
How you much know? are headstones, roughly, do you know? I, I, Not an idea, I don't even want to know now. And plus, I still owe the funeral home. Yeah. And I'm like, how can this be? This woman who worked so much and all her life. Uh, maybe she's not proud of me because everything didn't go according to how I wanted it to go. But she, she's buried. That's all I can do. But I hope she's in heaven. I hope she's... Um, she will be, she will I hope be, she's she will be. She will be, she'll be happy with everything you're doing. And... I know it sounds impossible, but I wish she would come back, even if it's for a day. That's my way. That's what I want most in the world, more than money. More than money, riches, food, clothes. Just to spend one day with mum. She doesn't even know Shayla. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, she's aware that I had Shayla, but she doesn't know Shayla like she knows. She'd be so um, proud of Ivan what you're doing. And and don't, don't cry. Honestly, you're doing great. I think she feels disappointed in herself that she can't afford to bury her properly and put proper headstone on there. But she's doing all, all she can. She's still got funeral costs to pay off. It's heartbreaking. When rich kids go skint. Alex has a whole family to feed, so it's time to plate up pronto. Is this enough for the children? Yeah, that's enough. Yeah? Maybe Alex's boiled dumplings will get Kashai's seal of approval. What's that? Boiled something. <laughs> yeah, it's boiled, um, not fried. I'm actually quite impressed myself. To be yeah, you should be. First time I cooked that meal, hacking salt fish. I was pleased with it. They were pleased with it. Kids were pleased with it. So yeah, job done. You don't need to spend up to hundred pound a day on food. You can cook some food and have lunch in a box, innit? I'll definitely cook this for the family at yeah. home. Definitely. Yeah. They definitely have taken to me, the kids, which is great. I thought myself before I came, that's most one of the most important things. Alex's Aki and Saltfish is a success, and he's left his mark on the family. And it, it was very it was very nice having you. Yeah. It was nice having you here. A bit of adult conversation. You've really made me like open up a lot about mum. And I you know what, I actually feel better. You feel like it's relieved you a bit. Yeah, I actually feel like otherwise I still would have been sort of just Boxed closed away. off. And... And it's not good to box yourself away it's sometimes. Not... It's better to express yourself and get everything off your chest because yeah. otherwise it's just gonna eat at you. You are gonna have your downs and it's yeah. about picking yourself up and being a better person than you were yesterday. Yeah. It's just a part of life, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Nikisha's views on rich kids have shifted too. I'd say you're you're well off. But you don't behave like it. You can't have this perception of yeah. somebody from an outside view. And that's what I love to reiterate, because you do get judged. Yeah. I get judged, you get mm -hmm. judged, everybody yeah. gets judged. But it's just one person's perception, and that's why I don't worry yeah. about what anyone else thinks of me. I don't care what anybody thinks about me, because I know I'm this yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. <laughs> I'm actually going to miss him when he leaves, like, with my own children. <laughs> Leaving home. <laughs> Honestly. Um, one thing that really touched me when I first came in the house, um, you showed me your bedroom, mm -hmm. and obviously there was the mattress on the floor because obviously you couldn't afford to get the bed frame. So um, I've got a gift for you, uh, and it's just outside. So yeah. I'll bring it in. <laughs> I don't know where we're going to put it and how I'm going to set it up. <laughs> well, there's one part. Okay. So we best get doing some DIY. Yeah. Oh, it's... That's the least I could do. <laughs> this is so great. I really appreciate it, honestly. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. It could, be, it could be used as a climbing frame as well, couldn't it? 